Good morning. Today I'm going to be sharing with you things that have made me happy this month. Whether it be a fabulous deal I want to tell you about that I got from Ulta using 10 times points. I have some makeup that I want to talk about, which is rare for me. Some things that have been really helpful and handy that aren't beauty, but if it makes me happy, anything that makes me happy is something that is a beauty item. And I want to share with you some cold treats that I have found this year that I really, really like. The first thing I want to talk about is something from Ulta. I always watch for 10 times points. I find that I get by far the very best deal if I wait until they offer 10 times points. Well, one of my sisters loves the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream, and I saw that was coming up with at Ulta and it was offering 10 times points. So I went ahead and I ordered it. I think it's 1.6 ounces and it is full of really good peptides. Something, I'm gonna tell you the price in a minute, but something that's nice about it, you go like this and that's supposed to be one full application and it's ready that way. You don't have to pull anything off. Well, what I have found, I usually just need about half, and I just take what I need, and then I'll go ahead and I'll cap it and use the rest the next time. I love the way it makes my skin feel. I don't use a moisturizer all the time, but when I feel like, you know, I'll feel my skin and I'll think I need a moisturizer either in the morning or at night, and sometimes it's morning and night. I, this was $69 and I earned $63.50 of Ultra Reward Dollars, which means I can spend it on anything that I want. I can spend it on sale items. The way I figured, this cost about $6 or 92% off. Well, I knew I liked it so well, I ordered it again. And I knew I wouldn't get it for the same amount of points because you go to different tiers, different levels, but I ordered a second one and it, it was $69 and I earned 40 Ulta Reward Dollars. So in my head, this cost $29 and I, I know it's going to last for, I know, two years. I know that I will use one a year and I'll keep one in my dressing room and one at my bedside. And it's, a fa it's been my favorite that I've ever used. I like something that goes in quickly, that makes my skin just feel really good. I like the Dermatology uh, Peptide Cream. I think, I don't know if it's Nighttime Peptide Cream. I like, there are several of them I like. I loved the original It Secret Sauce, and I loved Benigma and it, it made my skin look and feel good. But so far, this is my very favorite. So I am stocked up and, and I'm happy. And you can also open it up so you can get every last bit out. I also found a new lipstick I really like. And it's from NYX, N-Y-X, NYX. And I ordered mine from Ulta. You can get, go into like different stores and buy these products, but I just, I just don't like to do that. And it has a sponge tip applicator. And when you put it on, it feels not good. It feels like, oh my gosh, I've got another one of those dry lip things that they used to make years ago. And then you put the clear part on and it just feels wonderful. It does not travel. I have on no lip liner. And I have probably had it on about, well, I've had it on an hour and a half. And I'll put it, I'll look and see what time it kind of fades or I'll tell Jim to watch out for me because I'll forget and let you know how long it lasts. And it didn't come out chunky. You know how sometimes some of that lipstick will come off in pieces. I probably will reapply the clear stuff in a few hours or just when they start feeling dry, but occasionally I'll just go like, and, uh, and it keeps it, keeps it fresh. Today, I don't have on Superhero Mascara from It Cosmetics. I have used that since it first came out. Susan W. and I both fell in love with it on the same, when it first came out. And I think that was around 2018. I'm not sure, but I think it's been that long. 
So with the exception of trying a couple of drugstore brands, I have used it exclusively. But prior to that, my very favorite mascara was Light Camera Lashes from Tarte. And Mary, Glitzy, Fritzy, and I, we both love that mascara. So when I saw that Tarte was having, it, it was like a deal that everything was $10 and you picked from different categories. I went ahead and I ordered it and it's not available now, but it will be again sometime. So if you're ever interested in any of the deals I talk about, if you just sign up for their emails, you'll get the offers in your email if you want them or just check the website. This flakes off and it's not my perfect mascara anymore. I, uh, it superhero still is, but I'll use this and this is what I'll use in the summer and it'll be okay. I'll just have to know that I'm gonna have to check every so often to see if any has flaked off. And so I ordered the seven items. One of the items was this bag. It feels like it's made of neoprene and it's just, it's a nice little bag. Of course, I picked out the mascara and that was $10. The case is $10. This really pretty, this really pretty eyeshadow palette was $10. The Tarte Tinted Hydrator, I'd been wanting to try that and I haven't tried it yet, but I will. And this is the Tarte Maracuja Eye Treatment and I'm gonna try that, this, because what I'm using right now is the, it's a one from Dermatology and it is the in a pump and I've been using it every night and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use this on one eye and that on the other and see if I like it as well I, I definitely need a lot of people don't but I always use an eye cream and I have probably since I was 58 I think is when I started using an eye cream 57 or 58 and so far so good and I ordered this blush and I'm wearing it today and it's called fearless and I feel fearless. I thought it went really good with my lipstick and I love it. And if you ever are like intimidated by a blush color or think something's too dark, there's two things that I do. Number one, like I had powder foundation on. If you put blush over powder, it's not as pigmented. And this is the brush that I use. I use a brush like this. This is an old one from It Cosmetics but I just take it over very lightly and go like this. And I always get the right amount. And I like to put a little all over, I always have. But I love that, and I love Tarte blushes. They make some wonderful blushes. And I have been a huge fan of the Tarte Maracuja lippies, what, lipstick, lip whatever, and I ordered this one in Orchid. And it's just not a good color on me. But what's nice, I'll show you the shade. It is just a little bit, when I put it on, it's just a little bit too warm for me. But luckily, my daughter what is a, has a little warmer skin. I'm neutral cool, and she is kind of neutral warm. So whatever doesn't work for me works for her, and that, that's good. But I do love so many of the Tarte Maracuja lip products. I always buy my own things. A company will, if, if I, there's only a few people that I let send me something, and BK Beauty is one of them. And when they send me something, I give it away. I give it to you, or if I wanna try it, I will use it, but then I will buy, give it away on a giveaway, buy one for somebody. So that way, I feel it's my money that I'm spending. Well, there are some brushes that I think are really special and now they're available on Amazon. If you're Amazon Prime, you can get these brushes without shipping and handling. The code, discount code, does not work there. BK Beauty has sales often, and you know, I just would check either way. I don't like to pay shipping and handling, I really don't, but I don't wanna buy more needlessly just so I don't have shipping and handling. So anyway, I wanted to tell you about a couple of brushes that you can find on Amazon, you can find them from BK Beauty, and on BK Beauty, I have a 10% discount code. But this 101 foundation brush, you can watch all of my Get Ready With Me videos, and I have always loved using my fingers. 
Well, I still, when I wear a, a powder foundation, I still use my fingers to put it on and to work it in. But then I take this brush and just go all over it and I love it. I've never loved a brush before. And if I had to, I could, I could use this just to apply it. And what it's good also for are like if your pores are visible, it helps push the foundation in the pore so that looks really smooth. But I love this brush. I bought two of them. I have two of them. And I have, you've heard me speak of this many times. I have two of the Angie Hot and Flashy. I think it's a 506 brush. This I used this morning and I used powder. And I just, what I did, I put my powder on and I went around here. I don't have on any concealer. Just put it on with this. And like if I had an area that was red or bothering me, like a new like pimple or something like that, I could dab it in the powder and put it on that area. But these are just really, really good brushes. And then the other two brushes, well, I have two of all of them because I just, if I really like something, I want to have an extra one. And, I, and these are the two, I think they're the 208. Uh, they are just perfect. They're tiny. They're the right density. And like if you just want to put a little tiny wing, you just dab it in and dab it on. And you don't even have to work with it. Just, it's perfect. It also is good to put on eyeliner. I don't usually put anything underneath here because I have permanent eyeliner, but these are just really good brushes. So they're available on Amazon and I think that's a good thing. Well, I just looked for this. It's not in here. If I stop what I'm doing and go out in my to my car and get it, I guarantee you I wouldn't be back, but I had the box in here. And this is called a car cane. And one of my viewers, Debbie, told me about this. And I'm going to put a picture in to show you Bell and How makes this one, and it's a car cane, a flashlight, a seatbelt cutter, and a window breaker. But it fits right where, it, where your door locks. There's a little area you put it in there, and Jim can get in the car. He can hold on to that, and it helps him get in. You have to make sure you take it out because you don't want to shut the door on it. And then he takes it out and puts it in a pocket at the side of my door. And then when it's when he gets out. He puts it in and he can hold on to that and hold on to a little bar that's built in and it is so helpful. So Debbie, I really, really appreciate that. I think they have them on QVC or HSN and I think they're called Sophisticane, but I'll put a link to the one that I bought and it's a good one. I have been working in my dressing room just a little bit at a time and I tell you what, I'm having problems getting rid of things because I'm somebody, if I bought it, and I liked it 20 years ago, and it still fits, I, chances are I'm gonna like it again because I'm not like a real trendy person. I just kind of like the classics. And so I'll be going through and I think I need to get, ah, but I like that, you know, so why get rid of something? If you have enough room, why get rid of something if you still like it? And I've got plenty of room. But I'll tell you, when I had this dressing room built, I wanted one side of it is double hung and the other side is single. And I just reached up as high as I could, and that's how high, high I had the rod. Well, every time I worked in there, my I, I was always straining, and my shoulders kind of were hurting me, and just getting to those, it was kind of an effort, because I'm not as tall as I used to be. I used to be 5'9", and I'm about 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a quarter. So I thought, well, I'm gonna see about somebody building me a little stool. I've got a really nice two-step stair uh, step stool, but I don't need that. I just needed a little help to get in there. Well, I thought, well, you might as well look online. And I found something that is perfect. And it's called the step-up stool, and it's only four inches high, but you can't slip on it. And it's wide and it's sturdy, and it just really makes me happy. I can step up there and just easily 
move things around. And See, I didn't even know they made anything like that, and nobody else in the world may need it. But I didn't need the step ladder to do what I wanted to do. I needed something I could take a step over and work on. Isn't that funny how something as small as this, somebody's already thought of it. And if I would have had somebody make me a little stool, I don't think it would have been as sturdy. <laughs> and I, I know it probably wouldn't have been slip proof, but I just wanted to mention that. I think it was a couple of years ago, I found some panties or underwear. I don't know what you call them, but I'm gonna call them underwear. The brand, they were from Warner's. They were no pinch, no problems. Well, this has been kind of like a thing with me for many, many, many years. Like I would tell Jim, I said, you've got it made. You have, you have underwear, and if you're wearing dress pants, if you're wearing jeans, if you're wearing shorts, whatever you wear, you don't have to worry about it. Well, like, if I'm wearing jeans, I don't want a slick pair of underwear. If I'm wearing uh, slacks, especially like wool slacks, I don't want cotton type that doesn't move with me. You know, women, I just think they have to have specific underwear for <laughs> for whatever. I'm glad we don't have all those slips we used to have. I used to have 12 slips, but anyway. Moral of this story is, I only have one brand of underwear in my drawer, and I know it's gonna work with whatever I wear. I know they're not gonna ride up. I know they're gonna be comfortable. These, I'm just gonna take out of the bag because I don't wanna show underwear. The fabric works with cotton, it works with wool, it works with jeans, and it it's just really nice. So finding underwear that works for you, and you never have a bad underwear day. I mean, I've I just been one of my pet peeves, and I always wait until they're on sale. And in fact, I have seven pairs I haven't opened. I think this has been two years that I've been wearing. I can look it up and I can put it here, but it didn't go back that far. But I can look it up on a video when I first mentioned them. I use a lot of garment washing bags, and I always just throw them in a, one of those bags. And when I wash them, I would hang them up. And now, I mean, after a year, I just wash them. I just, but I just put the laundry bag in the dryer, and they've been fine. But I'm always real particular the first year. I don't want to dry them in the dryer, but they, they're great. And they always are on sale anytime I buy them. And I also bought some Shaper Mint bras. I love one style, and I will put it up here something I like about them. They come with extra bra extenders, came with every bra. So if it was a little snug, and it wasn't, I, on their website, you just click on the sizes, you find your bra size, and that's what I ordered, and it worked. I have it on the loosest hook, but I didn't have to use the bra extenders. But I have some bra extenders anyway, but I thought it was nice that they were included with it. But for years I have seen all those commercials and I have ordered other brands that I wasn't really crazy about. And an underwire does not bother me at all. But I thought, well, let's, why not try something else? And, and I did, because what I've been always wearing is the Soma that closes in the middle, but these work out well. I'm using my panel, my Mito red panel. Two weeks ago, Jim went to the doctor and all they had available were the large bariatric wheelchairs. You know, went and got one, got him into the clinic, parked and then came back and got him to the doctor's office. At some point, I didn't use sense and I thought I could lift that wheelchair. They're, they're, I think the bariatric are really hard to push anyway and I kind of jacked my back a little, not enough to go to the doctor, but you know, I can't take, there's the only thing I can take is Tylenol because I'm on blood thinners. But the panel, I've been using the red light panel morning and night. I've been using it for eight minutes and I just stand in front of it and I like it so much. I'll put a link to where the, when I, the video I talked about it, I plan on and I have not done it. I told you I was going to, but I didn't tell you when. I am a slacker. At some point, I'm gonna use it on my neck and my hands and use a, a serum on one side and on one hand to see if how it helps. Because I've lost like 20 or 25 pounds and I've gotten, I don't know if you can see, I'm sure you can see that. And I, I need to work on my neck, but right now it's not important. 
because I've got mine on a table and I just stand in front of it and I need to figure out how I want to do it on my neck. I think I want to put it on my lap in the bed. And But when I start doing it, I will let you know. But I'm still using my Omnilux mask. It's still working. I'm at 20, almost 27 months and use it three times a week. And I had a lot of questions. There is just so much information on the internet. You, you just really need to learn about it. And there are so many brands that I don't know about. But what I will do, I'll put the specifications of this panel that I use. And if you're shopping, you might compare to see if it's close. Because you do kind of, I know this helps me. And that, that's how I kind of do things. I look and compare because sometimes something might be a great price. But when you look at the comparisons on the wavelengths, they're not even close. Oops. Okay, on my cold treat. I always liked ice pops, is what we called them. And I looked on Amazon. You can go, you can get these at stores. They don't have it at our local grocery store. But these were DB's Organics. They're 1.35 ounces a piece. They have a lot better ingredients than the regular ones. They're, I think they have 25 calories. And I got 50 of them for $24, which is about 50 cents a piece. And they were good. I mean, they were good, and I like them. But I ordered something else that I love, that I that I shouldn't love, but I do love it. They're Weiler's Italian Ice, and I got 96 of them. They're two ounces a piece. When I ordered them, they were like $12 for 96, and they're two ounces. They have probably twice as many calories and not good ingredients. I'd rather have one of these and five of those. They've been a nice treat, but I've really liked those and I've had to really limit it because there is a lot of sugar. There's 57 calories and 16 carbohydrates. I mean, these aren't good for you, but sometimes I need something that just is different and, uh, and it hit the spot. I'm still enjoying my built puffs, but I haven't ordered any in the heat of the summer. I had got some in June, in early June, and I noticed they said put in the refrigerator before you open the box, and I did, and they were fine, but I've had them melt before, so I don't order those. But I did order something. I don't have a link to them. You just have to go to paleovalley.com, and these are pure, these look pretty healthy to me. They're made of grass-fed beef, and they are beef sticks, 100% grass-fed. I really like them. The flavors I got were jalapeno, garlic, and teriyaki, and they're about this big. They averaged a dollar a piece, and I'll buy them again. I saw those on a commercial when I was watching somebody's video, and they had... Uh, Paleo Valley, and I saw them several times, and I do like to have something I can just throw in my purse, because you never know if when you might need something. And they were good, and they're healthy, not like my Italian ice that I love. Jim's surgery on his forehead, and I'll put it up here, what kind of surgery he's going to have, has been postponed until winter. And that was per Jim's choice, and I think that's fine. I think it'll be fine. It, it's a big, big, big surgery. But yesterday, we left. We haven't gone out to eat yet, but we're working on it. We went to get his driver's license. He had not driven since last October, and in December was his birthday, and he hadn't been able to go do the test. In fact, he was kind of worried about if he could get in and out of the driver's license facility, and he did just fine with the walker. And he passed the eye test. He was worried about that. And then he did the written test, and then he did the driving t test, and came back with a paper that I, his license will come in the mail. So he was really happy about that. And I had shared with you before that he's able to get down the stairs if he takes them on his side one by one. And he's making some gains, so that the surgery for his back has definitely been postponed. I mean, I, I think he knows what he can do now, and he doesn't know what he'll be able to do after he would have extensive back surgery. So as long as he is still able to do some of the things that he wants to do, and he I mean, he has no pain when he's sitting, and he has no pain when he's lying down. And I want to tell you, my nails are doing fantastic. 
I'm still using the Nailtiques Formula 2 Plus that Melanie Rose told me about. First time ever that I have had to literally trim my nails with a clipper. They grow, they're strong. I couldn't be happier. I know I don't like long nails. I These, when I was trying to take a contact out, oh my gosh, now all of a sudden, I don't wear contacts probably once or twice a month. And they had just gotten too long and I had to immediately stop and trim my nails so I could take my contact out. But this is about how long I want them. There's enough that they show in the back, but they're hard as they can be. And it makes me happy. But you know what? It is all good. It, no matter what craziness is going on, God is in control. And I feel peace and comfort because of that. I thank you so much for spending time with me. And I will see you the last Sunday of next month. And you take care. I went, I brought weather that is. So in my head, something, I have a dim, 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 blah, 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 blah. I have been working in my, whoops. And I found something. Or sometime, you know, you may, anyway. But I'm not in love yet.